Hi, I'm Koyas. I'll give a quick view of me. Sorry about my messy workplace. Uh, I have been doing something for my 27th birthday, which I've been wanting to do. Uh, I have stated on 68 KMLA that I was going to make an Apple II uh, terminal to a Linux box. So basically what I do is I have my Apple II with a color monitor 2E with a super serial card in slot 2. I have two disks and I'm using Moda, Moda Manager as the application in choice. I have set up my Linux box down here which is basically a Dell 2300 case with a gigabyte board in it and an uh, AMD app on X2 and I have set up Debian on it with uh, all the proper functions needed to output to the serial port. I'm using uh, 8 bits with one parity stop um, and I've got it set to 9600 baud. I started working on this site which is basically uh, dataswamp.net apple2 serial term and this guy had basically done the first thing. He took a Gen 2 box and he installed uh, Getty on it or a Getty and he has used it with an Apple II to create uh, a link between his Apple II and the Gen 2 and use the Apple II as a terminal device. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to emulate a VT220 or at least I've already got it set up. So following the instructions and following some other things using Debian on the net I have managed to get Debian up. Uh, I have this posted on 68K Malay under Apple IIe trickiness and I have successfully already done this using the Apple II to actually post uh, a post on the Apple II or the 60K MLS MLA site. So what we're going to do is we're going to start up the machine and I've already got grub output set to output to the serial box so we're going to start up. I have the Apple IIe already waiting as the command line or waiting for the terminal and I have it set to 9600 baud. So we're going to have is going to have the machine start up. I'm going to go ahead and start the boot sync with and we're going to move over to the Apple II. What we're going to first see is we're going to see the boot menu. At least we should. There we go. So we've got the new Linux and it should be coming over a DB9 uh, to, or to DB25 cable. So we're going to have it boot up. It's kind of slow. <clears throat> Pardon me, I got I kind of got a cold so my uh, voice is pretty hoarse. But anyway, I turned 27 last night. I didn't quite get it done on the 9th, but I got about 31 minutes afterwards. So, but I'm just doing this as a chronological to show what happens. So here we are, we're booting up. <clears throat> In the meantime, the desktop is going to have its graphical user interface show up. But everything we do here is from command line. So I'm going to go ahead and log in. Um, and I'm going to run top. I'm going to see all the processes. A bit slow. It's constantly running, so we're going to escape out of that. Uh, control C. So we're going to go on 68 KMLI. So we're going to use links to which I've already installed. Dot, uh, 68 KMLA org. So now we're going to pull up the website. And this is basically how it looks. I will think I'm not logged in. I will log in. And this is much better than Contiki. Quite a bit faster. So as you can see, the Debian box is still up. We're going to go ahead and log in. Uh, move down. Nice thing is... Uh, So now we're logged in. So I'm going to go ahead and bring it down. Uh, apparently this doesn't do manual refresh, so I'll have to refresh it myself. So I've got a board index. I'm going to move down. As you can see, it runs reasonably quick. I'm not sure if most of the slowness is the actual Apple II or if it's just the serial interface. I'm going to go down and find my post. taking so long. Ah, here we go. Apple II.
And like I said, it's kind of slow, but we'll get there. And here's my post. <clears throat> and this is basically showing what it can do. Now there's much more you can do. I'm not too familiar with Linux, but um, I'm going to be doing a little bit more, but I thought the Apple II would be the perfect way to get started. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, I might make more about what I can do with the Apple II, but right now this was my big project. And uh, thank you all for watching. Like this video if you like it, and uh, I'll see you later on the inner tubes.